What's going on guys and gals? This is Gaming for Hope coming at you with another vlog. There has honestly been so much going on in my life lately, especially with me starting my job last week. But the thing I want to talk about in this particular week's vlog is a bit of an announcement combined with just talking to you guys like we normally do in the vlogs now about things that are going on in my life, which of course involves streaming and YouTube and all that fun jazz because that's part of my life. So. Yeah, basically in this video I want to give you a summarization of the things that have been plaguing my Twitch stream for the last little while, and no, it's not the people in it, just to clarify. It's been some internet related issues, and just want to share with you the solution I'm implementing. If you're here and you haven't already, please stop this video for just a second and do me a quick favor, click the subscribe button for me, would you real quick? Ring the notification bell that's right next to it so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. As many of you may know, and I'm sure all of you at this point know, I started a new job last week. The reason I say all of you know now is because I did kind of mention it at the beginning of the video. <laughs> if you did want to check out any of the details that, you know, were going on with that whole getting a job thing, be sure to click the card above right now. That'll take you to the video that was before this one that'll help you kind of catch up to speed. Short and sweet version of the update on everything as far as the job goes. Everything's awesome. For those of you that haven't been keeping up with my Twitch live streams, they've been extremely spotty lately due to some technical issues. Basically what's been happening is the stream is set to upload at 4,500 kilobits per second and I have a 10,000 kilobit per second speed upload as far as that goes through my internet provider. And for an unknown reason up till recently, it would drop from 4,500, which is what it's set to, down to 500, sometimes to zero, and then it would kind of bounce between zero and 4,500 kilobits per second, rarely actually reobtaining that 4,500 kilobits. As it turns out, after a couple of weeks, and I'm not joking when I say weeks of troubleshooting, it's my service provider. Because I know your hearts, many of you that are watching this video right now are already starting to think, okay, this is the problem, what can I do to solve it? What solutions maybe hasn't he tried? So let me share with you what I have tried to save you a little bit of time. We have verified that my computer's network adapter, both the hardware portion of it and the driver portion of it, are 100% functional. And then as far as the cord going from my, my computer into my modem router, that has been test tested and verified with a known working one to make sure that it wasn't the cord itself. And through my ISP, I actually lease my modem router. So I went to them and got it swapped out just to ensure that that wasn't the problem. It wasn't. I even, after getting the new one, swapped ports on the new modem router just to be a thousand percent certain. And I tried all four of the different ports. And of course, with it being the Twitch upload, that may have been the problem. I wanted to make sure that my connection to the Twitch server was not the issue. I looked at Twitch's server status each of the times I had the problems. No one was having any trouble, it was just me. So effectively what we ruled out was everything except the ISP. And the short version of what the ISP has told me is that the only thing that they can, I mean they don't see anything. According to what they said, there's no perceivable reason they should be having an issue. They still sent a tech out and the tech basically said the only thing that we can do in order to troubleshoot this is to dig up a couple of miles of cable and to quote the technician pretty directly, we won't be doing that in the foreseeable future. So naturally, I got a hold of my landlord to see if I could switch internet service providers to kind of bridge the gap for the time being, because I really enjoy my current provider, but if it's a location specific thing, I wanted to at least try switching to a different provider to make sure that if I did do that and if it fixed it, there's the easiest way to figure out whether or not the old provider was the problem. I was then informed that he was very irritated with me for even letting the people come by and troubleshoot my current connection because they were up on the roof and according to him, the roof has enough soft spots that he needs to be here to make sure they don't fall through the roof. Evidently, like I was saying, the, the roof has soft spots and if they were to step on those spots as technicians, they could fall through either seriously injuring or and or killing themselves in the process. Needless to say, I am not happy. This is kind of the icing on the cake for, as far as living in this apartment building. And unfortunately, again, I'm going to say this just for the record because I know a lot of you guys are already, again, I love your hearts behind this. You're already thinking about solutions. The render laws in Idaho are not on our side. I've already done everything I can. I've contacted legal services and they have stated that there is nothing that can be done without us spending about $1,500 or $1,100, depending on the problem, to have someone come out here and test it, verify that it is a problem, and then move out. To give you a perspective, we have three months left in our lease, we pay $550 a month. 
Paying $1,100 to $1,500 to test to get out of the lease seems silly. Just stay here, pay the rent, and call it good. But with all that said, I won't be able to live stream on Twitch until we move, which will be in February. So that's the announcement. That part of it. Sounds like the kind of ripping it off like a band-aid. It's the worst part of this whole thing. But there is a silver lining and there is a plus side to this and there is a solution. Obviously, with the internet connection being kind of blah, 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 blah. That's the very technical phrase, FYI. With the upload speed, I can still do a YouTube upload, otherwise you wouldn't be seeing this video right now. So starting next week, I will be uploading three videos a week. Every single week, the upload days will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will be restarting, because I don't have the old world anymore, the Minecraft Hardcore Solo Playthrough. We will also be restarting the Hot Topics for Christianity series. And the third thing is we will be continuing to do the vlog series. And please understand that I don't obviously do a lot of traveling, I don't do a whole lot of exciting things to vlog around, but my vlogs are meant to be more of a window into the difficulties that happen beyond a content creator's perspective that a lot of content creators don't want to talk about even in a vlog. Please keep in mind, this is just a temporary solution until February when I intend fully on making a comeback and streaming again on Twitch. For those of you that have gone through this rocky wave with me, We've already acknowledged in previous videos, I'll put a card up above if you haven't checked that out, that I've made mistakes and I've learned from them throughout this year as far as waffling between platforms, going back and forth, and dealing with just committing to one platform or another. And I want to make it so abundantly clear that this current situation is so far outside of my control that there's nothing that I can do. I absolutely have to stop streaming and that breaks my heart. But I want you to know I still care about you guys enough to continue to make something in the meantime, which is why I'm making the YouTube content. Never forget everybody that life is difficult, you shouldn't do it alone. I'll see you guys later.